Hey, what up, everybody? Hey, I hope everybody's having a blessed day. Out there doing your best today. Hey, it's Sunday. It's uh, about 3.53. Went to church this morning. Got the boys up and went to church. And uh, got their little brother Jackson up and got him off to church and everything. It's pretty good service. Um, had an evangelist that uh, spends a lot of time out in Asia over there. Um, their little brother's like six. Jacks are uh, Hunter and Jathan. Yes, and he's sick, so I didn't really get to hear a whole whole lot of the service, but uh, it was good. We made it, and then when we got back, I took the younger two down to uh, down to Sonic, and we hung out, and played around down there for a little while, ran around the sand, whatnot. Anyways, um, my mom got me this journal, and I've been, you know, kind of struggling with with what I'm going to talk about in these videos, and and kind of, you know, bring it back to a center focal point of kind of, you know, what, what, you know, kind of my bigger dream for, for my future is to, to reach and touch other people through, you know, real experience and, and connection. So with that, um, my mom got me this journal. I don't know if you guys can see it's called choose your own journey. All right. And in here, it's got this little this little blurb here that says uh i admit writing in a journal is a bit dull no offense you may not realize this diary but i spend more time staring at a blank page wondering what to write than i spend actually writing in you so i'm doing it differently this time this time i'm turning my journey journaling into journal journeying so i guess a, a combination of journey and journaling anyways in these pages, I'll follow the paths that lead me to discoveries never saw coming and to memories I may have forgotten. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna write in this each day, and I decided decided to start out with the uh, oh, that's my butterfly and my metamorphosis metamorphosis thing from uh, PRWP, my rock in my pocket thing and my my butterfly from. Uh, Well, if he watches this, he's going to kick me. I can't believe I just blanked his name. Anyways, I'll think of it. Anyways, uh, and I, I'm going to go on the uh, self-discovery one first. Exploring your true creative passions. So, turn over here to page 8 like it says. Self-discovery journey. Write about what you love to do in your spare time. And I wrote, I love spending my spare time learning and experiencing. I love to push my boundaries and limits as well as those around me. I love the chase, excitement, thrills, all bound in little knots tight in my stomach. I love the feeling like going over a roller coaster hill just as you're about to crest and push the edge and all of a sudden it drops. The bands pop all at once in a thrill of excitement, fear, dread, hope. I'll implode on one another just before an enormous exploding of feeling. So, I guess I really didn't talk too, too much about what I love to do in my spare time, except for just learning and experiencing and growing and and just doing new things, man, meeting new people. And, uh, you know, as I go along this, you know, it'll, it'll, I hope evolve into something bigger and, and greater and, and some work where I can I can help impact humanity, man, mankind, you know. And yeah, you know, along the way, you know, finding something as opportunities open themselves up to me and I'm being blessed with things that are better laid out before me and I'm taking claim to those and you know doing something I love doing my passion doing what I was put on this earth to do and with that never having to work freely again because when you do what you love you can do it all the time and you know time just flies you know find that's what I keep saying is find what you love to do all this going out and doing new things and experiencing new things and uh, 
testing boundaries and pushing fears and and just getting out there in the world you know leaving old habits and cycles and people and places behind and 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 being at that level and reaching for that level learning from those people you can learn from you know i heard i forgot who was saying it today on my morning run this morning uh one of the guys i was listening to said you know when you start being around people that say oh yeah 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 i know that then uh you need to elevate your 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 circle your bubble your your influence around you because you want to be asking new things and not people asking you because then you're stagnating and that's not where I want to be I want to get to that next level I want to push my boundaries I want to be the best that I can be you know I'm going to go out there and I'm, I'm going to continue to just push every day to do what I can do. And I know when I'm cutting myself off and I know when I'm not doing my best. And <clears throat> I go out there and I discipline myself, you know, hold myself accountable, making myself respect myself, know my worth and, and just live from my heart, you know. I just want to help people I just want to be around people and be with positive people and do positive things and make new experiences and have fun and love each other and just be kind you know man I spent too long in this world being afraid being scared being angry being sad being a little boy. Yeah, there is way too much out there anymore for uh, for me not to be experiencing life. And everybody that's around me, man, you're going to elevate to my level or pull me up another level. I ain't got time for slackers. I ain't got time for people slowing me down. All I want is encouragement. Yo, doubt me. Yo, please. I know there'll be the haters and the people who doubt me and say, oh, he thinks he's better than someone. No, I don't think I'm better than nobody. But I do know I'm better than what I used to be. And I can still be better than what I am now. And with that, you know, you know, tell them what I can achieve. I just want to bring as many people along with me as I can. And I just want to have fun, yo. I was a walking zombie. I was walking through this world dead. Thought the world owed me something. Man, nobody owed me nothing. Tons of people gave me a lot of stuff. And you know, I'm, I'm still super appreciative of that and I always will be. I love each and every person out there. Yo, man, if you can't do it, find some way to do it. If you think there ain't no other way than being mad, come on, man. You guys are better than that. You're worth more than that. Your dreams are bigger than that. Don't let the world dampen your flame. Don't let the world dampen your shine. Get out there and just, man, burn. Burn for whatever you love to do, for whatever your passion is. Give it everything you got. Don't ever give up. A next little hump could get you over. And you never know what's going to be over that next hill, man. But learn to fall in love with the process. Learn to fall in love with the experience. Take the pain and the pleasure. Man, I, I keep saying, and I got to figure out where I heard it, because I know someone way smarter than me had to have said it, that, that pain is just misunderstood potential. You turn that, that potential to work for you. Yo, everything in this world and beyond is possible. Have a little faith. Have a little trust. 
Have a little love. Hey. I hope, uh... I hope these videos are... If nothing else, put a smile on your face or... Give you a reason to talk about somebody or not talk about somebody or do something or, or improve something or pick up a book or go to the library or go for a walk or all I said is you man you just got to get up and start doing something you ain't even got to get up you just got to start doing something movement activity is the key even if all you can do is mental activity think different catch yourself thinking these these negative thoughts or negative negative self-talk or you know, whatever, dude. No, you're not bad. No, you're not a whatever, 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 whatever. You are worth it. You can do it. You will overcome whatever it is you're doing and struggling with. But you got to believe. It all starts with that first movement, that first act of, of defying a negative thought. Saying no. Maybe who I was. But you can make a decision right now. And in that next step, that's no longer who you are. But you got to stick to it. Yo, and it's not easy. There's times that you're going to be throwing little fits inside your head. There's going to be times when you want to just stomp away and say it's too hard. And go back to whatever your choice addiction was. Anger, rage, isolation, resentment, drugs, alcohol whatever you know doesn't have to be a substance to be abused people can abuse emotions and power and and sex and all kinds of different things man live for you love you find you set your values your rules your boundaries you know why because you're worth it once you start figuring those things out about yourself starts getting to be a lot easier to say no to people and I'm not saying you're gonna be perfect and I ain't perfect and I'll struggle with this stuff for the rest of my life I'm sure just because I'm saying it doesn't mean I I know how to apply it all the time I'm still growing there's a there's another motivational speaker uh, Trent Shelton one of my uh, I had an old friend that that forwarded a video he is to me on Facebook and uh, yo, honestly I think that dude jump started along with a whole bunch of other jump starts I was given by other people through my entire life this new change and I appreciate him and I appreciate the young lady that gave me the link to him and all the love that I've gotten from everybody and look I'm already out here pacing you dude see Man, I'll never stop moving no more. But hey, thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. Hey, please share me with your friends. Let me know if, if what I'm doing is good for anybody or anything or whatever. I mean, it ain't going to make a difference if I stop doing it or not because I do it. It's a way to talk things out for me. Anyways, hey, um, hey, y'all have a blessed day. Happy Sunday. Go, uh, go relax, rejuvenate. Get ready for the week, y'all. It's coming at you hard and fast. Be blessed. Be your best. Peace, y'all.